GameStop is doing it again boys. GameStop is rising up and given the insane developments we saw take place today, I think we are primed for another potential leg up very soon if GameStop management can keep up the same energy. Real quick, let's keep GameStop trending so please smash that like button into the stratosphere. Subscribe if you are new, drop a comment down below with the hashtag GameStopGME on it and join our free Discord for even more information. So, GameStop's greatly anticipated shareholder meeting was postponed into tomorrow because way too many people tuned into it, to the point it caused significant technical difficulties that led to GameStop having to delay it. Think about that for a second, GameStop's shareholder meeting had so much volume, so many people watching and listening to it that they couldn't do it. It's hard to think of GameStop as a company when it's so popular that a bunch of degenerates gang up and crash the freaking internet again. This literally feels like it's the main event of the decade, the modern version of the roaring 20s of retail traders. It's funny, cuz the roaring kitty popularized GameStop, the stock is now roaring and MOAS will inevitably lead to the potential collapse of the entire financial industry, a very similar set of events that kind of mirror the 1920s and potentially the 1930s. Anyways, GameStop has officially rescheduled their shareholders' annual meeting until tomorrow June 14th at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. However, the real news did not come from that. Over the past day and late last night, we began to see a lot of volume in calls and it drove all types of conversations about the Roaring Kitty potentially selling or exercising his call options. The last time he posted, he still held about $120,020 GameStop calls expiring on June 21st. Well, today, the mad lad shared his new GameStop position, showing he finally sold all his GameStop call options and purchased an additional 4 million GameStop shares. He now holds 9,001,000 GME shares at an average price of $23.41, with an addition $6,343,724.01 sitting cash on hand. That brings a total value of $268,452,844.01. He is up a little over $51 million on the day. Now stop here for a moment people. Let us shine light for a moment at all the corporate media lies that were spewed over the last three weeks. The corporate media shills were swearing non-stop for days that the Roaring Kitty was manipulating the market by pumping up the stock so that he people would buy in so he could get out while high. Well, it looks like the man's plan isn't to get out at all, it looks like the man is diamond handing through and through, adding shares to his ever-growing GameStop position, so what exactly will the new narrative be? because the pump and dump story they were trying to sell people for weeks now is just as dead as the short position that clown Andrew left Citroen Research open days ago. I want to hear directly from them what their thoughts are, because the roaring kitty is not leaving. Retail certainly has been loading up non-stop for weeks now, buying at premium prices with no care if their positions go red momentarily. It will be interesting to see them running mental gymnastics, attempting to rationalize their stupidity to a world that continues to open their eyes and tune out from them as time goes by. Now, now good news on GameStop can go around without people extrapolating to conclusions that detract from the investors. Yes, what happened is great for GameStop. It solidifies trust in the company, it helps erode a lot of the bad narrative and identity attacks they throw on us and helps boost morale and buyers. What happens next is where people get it wrong. We know now that the Roaring Kitty exercised his calls, market maker Wolverine has to deliver 4 million shares by tomorrow. As you might expect, this has everyone in a frenzy right now. However, I must be the one to remind you guys that finding shares is not going to be all that difficult given that GameStop itself just recently sold 120 million of them to the open market. Let's do a little DD and give you some context information. Wolverine Trading is the market maker for GameStop options according the Chicago Board Options Exchange itself. As the market maker for GameStop options, Wolverine Trading has designated responsibilities and roles which include liquidity provisions, two-sided quotes, spread maintenance, order execution and risk management. Let's go over these one by one, and big shout out to Jin Oh Man for breaking these down. Liquidity provisions means that as a market maker, Wolverine Trading must provide liquidity to the market by being ready to buy and sell options at any given time. This ensures there are enough buyers and sellers in the market allows for strong liquidity and making it easier for investors to execute their trades. Two-sided quotes means that Wolverine Trading must provide continuous two-sided quotes which means they must be willing to buy and sell options at publicly quoted prices, creating an efficient, transparent and stable market for GameStop. Spread maintenance means Wolverine Trading is responsible for maintaining competitive bid-ask spreads. The narrower the spread, 
the more beneficial for traders as it means it's a more efficient market. Order execution means that Wolverine trading must help facilitate the execution of orders by stepping in to buy and sell options when there are not enough natural buyers or sellers on the market. Lastly, risk management means that Wolverine trading has to take on significant risk by holding large positions in various options and underlying stocks. The Chicago Board Options Exchange has designated market makers for each and every stock, which means they are responsible for liquidity in option contracts. When you go to your broker portal and buy an option position, 99% of the time it will be a market maker writing it. So now that we understand the context behind this, now we know why Wolverine Trading is the one responsible for delivering those shares by tomorrow. Everyone is crazy bullish, but I am seeing way too many people making huge assumptions about how this is going to lead to an insane rally that will drive the stock $30 up or something like that. This is me not telling you that cannot happen, because we have seen how abrupt GameStop can move, but that expectation that Wolverine Trading is going to come across a huge challenge finding those shares is not that realistic. Again, GameStop just sold 120 million shares in there at the market program. There are now a lot of GME shares circulating around and I don't doubt Wolverine will find it all that difficult to deliver them. Don't get all mad at me in the comments for bringing this to light, I always get people calling me a shill for pointing out pretty obvious information simply because it doesn't fuel the need for validation. Please, let's remain level-headed about this, and if we get a crazy movement, all the better, but if we don't, it's not a big deal. The Roaring Kitty posted a tweet earlier that has driven a lot of chatter about the meaning. As is common, every time the Roaring Kitty makes a post, the internet mobilizes to look for hidden clues. Well, today the Roaring Kitty elected to use a powerful scene from the movie Dune 2. I was going to break down the potential meaning of it, but a person on Superstonk that goes by the username multiple iterations explained it better than I ever could. The user explains and I quote, this is the moment where Paul Atreides proves himself worthy to join the Freeman, by riding the giant sandworm. This is like a tremendously powerful moment that basically signifies Paul Atreides taking his fate into his hands. Also, he calls down a motherfucker of a giant sandworm, it's absolutely enormous. So timing the jump onto the sandworm is probably an awful lot like what Mr. Gill is experiencing with whatever advanced trading beat down he's about to throw on our opposition. In short, he thinks he stuck the landing, so get hyped. Given this was shared before the Roaring Kitty made that YOLO update on his position, I believe the breakdown on this tweet perfectly encapsulates the meaning behind it. Important to note, over 1 million GameStop contracts were traded today. For context, the average 90-day number of options traded is 167,000. So where does all these news put us? Well, I think what the Roaring Kitty did certainly amplifies expectations on GameStop's board. I don't think they will make any new big announcements, but expectations will still remain high. I think that as we head into closing tomorrow, beholden that GameStop doesn't pull one on us a third time and decides to dilute again, we will be primed to potentially run another $5 to $8 if all things go well. We have been moving bullishly, support levels are holding up very well and more importantly, GameStop still remains within that setup up that could see it elevate and potentially break out. The real catalyst in this right now is GameStop itself. Any good announcements, any bullish sentiment shared by the board tomorrow, something more than the bare freaking minimum, will be extremely well received by investors and could drive the company upwards back near the $40 mark, so if I were you, I would keep my eyes keeping close watch on GameStop throughout the day. Fellas, I am going to wrap the video up here, let me know your thoughts down below and let me know if you have been adding shares or if you are waiting for a dip before we start buying again. As always, don't forget to join our discord and please drop a like in the video if you found it informative. Have an amazing rest of your day and to the moon.